Hey everyone. Alrighty. I'm using browns and bronzes and coppers and golds because that's what reminds me of a turkey. And I think diagonal is just easy for me because um, I don't know, I guess it's just the way your hand moves over it. Um, I just want to put a little plug in. Nail polish thinner. Greatest invention for those of us who've been collecting nail polishes for evers and evers. <laughs> um, this is a topazy bronzy color. Uh, glitters tend to thicken much more quickly than regular polish. Let me see if I can get a better. Let's see if that's better. Um, this is the Milani, uh, really pretty Milani 3D. Um, uh, the only thing is, it said it says it's holographic, and it's not. It's just very it has like a silver glitter in it. There's no, um, you know, no 3D like the China glaze ones. Gorgeous. You, you put those in the light, and you're gonna see some beautiful holographic rainbow colors in there. Uh, this one is not. Um, This morning, I put too much nail thinner, so it's uh, coming out too thin. And we're going to go back to this nail. I put a brown and a gold on this one, and I just put a topaz color on this one. Now, glitters tend to thicken much more quickly than a regular nail polish, and, um, and also it's harder to, like revive them with nail thinner uh, if they don't have the little balls in the bottle it's usually almost impossible to revive them okay and this is called beige pearl but it looks like a like a coppery color okay I'm just going to put that right these, you got to be careful. They drip very quickly and can make a mess very quickly. I'm going to put that right in the middle. Okay, but that's not so bad. And for this one, let me give it another coat of the... Uh, of the bronze it's just called topaz but it looks more like a bronzy color I don't know or maybe maybe what they would call like a, a warm gold color let that dry a little bit then on this hand I'm just I'm gonna do three stripes I'm going to put the brown this is the chocolate kiss and um okay I want to make sure I'm doing I want to make sure that I'm in in the focus of the camera because I know that I tend to like go out of focus with the camera because I'm not actually looking at the camera okay gotta let it dry a little bit go let that dry a little bit there and then put another coat of this brown since it I thinned it too much that's the only problem is that you never know how much is enough it's either underdone or overdone put too much and it's, it's too thin you put too little so I guess you just gotta you know whatever you're comfortable with but See, it's got the dark brown, the beautiful gold, and like the copper stripe. 
And then this one, just gonna let it dry. This one I'm gonna put a gold stripe, but not a thin stripe. I want this stripe, look how much of that comes off on these things. Just tons and tons and tons of it come off. This I'm doing like three, a thick stripe, not just a, a little decorative, decorative stripe down the middle. Putting like a thicker stripe of this gold right here. And then, um, and another stripe of this uh, bronzy topazy color for the third stripe. in the way with my hand. Uh, it looks kind of messy, but if you had a um, better um, paints, maybe it would work better. Maybe like put a little gold in between the brown. Hmm. Nah, I don't. Let me pull out. I don't think it's working very well, but okay. Let's use my topaz. You know, you use. I found. I've been, you know, collecting polishes for a long time now, and you know, I find the color I like and I grab it, and uh, I, it takes me years to finish it, and if it thickens I thin it out I don't know if you can see the difference in those two the gold and the bronzy color I think I'll use this beige pro which really looks copper and put the stripe there just to help distinguish between the two colors if you want to add a little bit more dimension to that this is called gold, but it's a very, very warm gold, this one from NYX. And uh, let's see, just don't want it to drip. There you go, get that drip out. And just put it right in between the two colors. All right, um, I just, Give it a few minutes to let it dry. I'm going to try and do a gold stripe right down the middle here. Now I don't have the steadiest hand, so. Okay, and now I'm just gonna put like a coppery stripe. Trying to feather it out, almost like a triangle, right there. I, I'm sorry, I keep going off camera. So I did a gold, now I'm gonna do, uh, I did the copper, I'm gonna try and do, it's called, uh, one is called like a, it's called beige actually, but it looks like a copper. Now I'm going to take 
the warm gold color and just try and feather it out the other way. Just a simple little it's kind of like um just like just stripe it out. See, I'm not the greatest artist, so just to give it a little depth again, kind of almost like a feather, like some feathers. And then oh, with my last nail, I'm just going to take some gold. Um, it's like a clear with gold glitter on it. And just um, put it right on top. And just for a little, if you want a more classic look, but something more than just the ordinary, just, there you go, just. And basically, that's it. I'm no artist. Um, I would, did not have the steadiest hands doing the, um, the stripes. Almost looks like a feather, a leaf. Uh, this one just took three different warm colors and just striped it out. Nothing fancy. So, yeah. <laughs> so that's it. I'll take pictures and, you know, maybe this will give you some ideas. The classic, the three striped, almost feathery look. Just the diagonal striped designs. Almost looks like a turkey tail, almost a little. And then just the two colors with the one stripe. All right. Bye.